cryptocurrency boom smashes the world and Korea is no exception. You know what? While Korea accounts for 1.9% of global economic output, the nation represents about 21% of global Bitcoin trading volume. Indeed, Koreans go crazy for cryptocurrency and trading it is well accepted among Korean. Almost all of my Korean friends trade cryptocurrency and even teenagers are into it. There's even new word, Bitcoin zombie, which describes a person who check Bitcoin price pretty frequently. Bitcoin zombie feels nervous and struggles to fall asleep as Bitcoin exchange never sleeps and it opens 24 hours. What caused the crypto syndrome in Korea despite of government's warning to regulate it? Some experts explain this is due to geographical issue and political turmoil. They explain elevated tension around the Korean peninsula encouraged Koreans to shift their wealth outside the country. Besides, after President Park scandal, Korean citizens would like to find comfort in something outside the country according to the expert explanation. Well, I don't think so. There is more fundamental issue behind the crypto madness in Korea. The Junior regions are cultural factor that is collectivism, social economic situation which is broken ladder of social mobility and easy accessibility for trading. Firstly, under collectivism culture, Koreans like to group together which cause conformity. It's hard to find the indivisibility in Korea and new syndrome affects mass of people significantly. For instance, if one makes money from crypto trading, the others are encouraged to jump on the bandwagon saying Gaza, which means go. That's how cryptocurrency trading spreads to even teenagers and housewife in Korea. They hope to make money from cryptocurrency trading as others do and this me too mentality creates network effect. Secondly, it's well known that the ladder of social mobility is broken in Korea. People realize that working hard and saving money are not enough to buy a house amid prolonged low economic growth. The great real estate rally was over and some people think cryptocurrency might be the last chance to change their life by accumulating wealth. You know, volatility of cryptocurrency is massive which means someone might generate great return and vice versa. Notably, somebody unknows their great trading return online which causes others to be trapped in crypto syndrome. A very exceptional case inspires hope into ordinary people. Lastly, it's super easy to assess cryptocurrency trading in Korea. Korea is well known to have a fast internet infra and smartphone penetration rate is one of the highest in the world. In addition, as more and more Koreans trade cryptocurrency, the liquidity is super high and it's easy to cash out. No one knows the direction of a cryptocurrency price and it may end up being one of the major currencies in the world, which means it's not too late to buy cryptocurrency at present. However, based on my observation, cryptocurrency trading is close to speculation rather than investment. The key difference between speculation and investment is the risk, fundamental analysis, and time horizon. The problem of speculation is that it's too addictive to quit. According to psychologists, for those who speculate or gamble generate stress hormone and activate neurotransmitter that creates arousal. That's why Bitcoin zombies hurt beat and feel nervous when they watch movement of Bitcoin price. In addition, if the one makes money from speculation, the pleasure center of the brain, which is also known as reward circuit, remembers this and craves for the same amount or even more pleasure. It's unconscious brain activity and the addict doesn't realize he's being addicted to speculation. Cryptocurrency trading is up to your decision, but I hope you are aware of the background of cryptocurrency madness in Korea and danger of it.